so we're starting on an 07 1500 Chevy. The hydro boost, you can see it's puking all in here. See the carb is all wet. So we're gonna go ahead and try to find a good place for the camera. I'm gonna go ahead and knock this thing out real quick. Let's see. So let's get the 10 off first. Let's open the brake. It's nice and loose. It's nice. So we gotta get this off the brake rod. I usually don't take them all the way out, just pop them like that. There's that. And then these should be 15s. I'm gonna take the camera out with my impact. I got this shit that's good. This thing's pretty gnarly. I'm trying to get the ones I can. I can get these two for sure. And those are 15s. I'm not sure you want to always grab those. I don't feel like hunting. Every time you can. Okay. Let's use the socket to grab it. So now we're going to hop it off. Pop off the thing. Take the brake switch out. I'm going to pull it forward so I can get in there. That one now he's got the top one. Okay. Let's get the sucker out. It's hard getting a good angle on it. Okay, see right there. Yeah, that. Yeah, we're gonna use my socket. Kind of smart not to use a magnet, but Okay, there's a bucket underneath to catch the, the juice, so we're going to go ahead, let's get the 18 off first, it's the 18 over here. There's the 18. Okay, so we're gonna continue on this. I got the 18 millimeter line, 16 millimeter, the return hose. Next, we're gonna have to take the two 15s off for the master cylinder. Here's my. Yeah. Okay, and one side. Under. Okay, let's get this side. There's that. Okay, I already got the new one ready to go. The ones we get are pre. They have the, uh, the rod loaded up inside of them already. So I don't have to mess with it. So we'll slide it out. Okay. So, oh yeah, this one's already been replaced. Here's a brand new jammer AC to open it. I'm gonna put that in. Make sure we don't pinch any of these lines. And set that in. Okay. There's that. Like I said, it's already loaded to it. It's got the push rod in there, so we don't have to mess with that. That makes it nice and easy. Okay, let's go ahead and stab these on. Okay, that one's gluten tight. Okay, that one's gluten tight. Usually I change the O-rings, but let's see if they're in need of replacement. Okay. Yeah, they're gonna have to be replaced. I'm not satisfied. 
satisfied with them. Yeah, I'm gonna go, we're gonna replace this. I'm not playing the game. Let me grab two of them. Okay, okay. So, now let's, let's pop this O-ring off. Let's take this one off on the other line. This is the one that goes to the steering box. Let's get some, some O-rings. This might be a little too small. Let's see. There's one. There's two. Nope. Perfect. Look at that. Okay. Let's get this sucker so done. Let's route this one up. Put the rag in my hand so I can actually grab the line from the nut to tighten it. Give it a little wiggle jiggle. You want to be very careful not to strip these. I've done them before, and it's not fun. These ones are pretty hard too. It's when you get down to the steering box and the pump where it becomes a problem. Now we have to get the breaker rod on. Get on just a little bit. Then you slide the switch over, and then you slide the switch on. We're gonna get the this go back on. And we're gonna put that in. Yeah, I got 
Okay, let's go ahead and fire it up and see what it does. Oh, it's okay. I got to 